Hi, myself Premon and Pillai. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and press the bell icon for latest IQ related videos. Today I will tell you how to install Exchange Server 2010 and Server 2008. I will tell that step by step. Primarily I will tell you how to configure the server for installation of Server 2000. Uh, sorry, Exchange Server 2010. Uh, okay, primarily I will tell you from where you will get the software. It's free. Uh, you must need a key, otherwise it will block out on 120 days. I think my connection is not available. Let me check. Uh, there is no issue. Just type uh, Exchange Server 2010 download, download from official site. You will get a um, Microsoft site and you must download that from there. If you have one, there is no issue. Okay. Now, what we will we do is, firstly we will configure the ATDN. ATDS and DNS. Let me check. Here it is. ATDS. Add required features. And I am just installing DNS. It will automatically install. There is no issue. Install. And again, install. It need a restart for <coughs> uh, promotion of this. ADDS primary it will install and you can see here net frame 3.5.1 is also main for exchange server 2010 Yes, it is installed. Now I must go to ADTS. You can also do this through uh, dcpromo.exe. I have already one video. There is no issue because I am doing a new installation of Exchange Server. It is really sophisticated. So it needs some time. I'm just doing that. a new forest I'm creating one my forest is rain top captain dot o -R -G. you can type your own one I'm just typing my one And this is the NetBIOS name, it will appear when we log on the domain controller. Okay, there is no issue. And I am giving it to 2008 R2 because I don't have any server before this one. So I just want this functional level to 2008 R2. Okay, DNS will be installed. I must put an static IP it's actually running on SCP let me check here it is I am just putting an IP I am putting a class 3 IP load 7 and sometimes it will appear itself because it is class C There is no need of any gateway because I am just using this server in the local network. Gateway is needed when you will 
try to connect two or three networks. Now I will put down a preferred DNS. Um, actually, I am installing DNS in this, so it will be to some the one twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one because it's a loop back address. It will take some time. I will close this one and just go back. Then I will come back. Now there is no message. Yes, a delegation for DNS will be created. There is no issue. Just click yes and just next. And now you must put a password for your account. I just forgot what password to be put here. I just put my password. Yes, just give a permission to reboot on completion. It will reboot it by itself. For installation of Extend Server 2010, the configuration of ADDS is main event, and you must do this properly, otherwise, you may see so many errors. Okay. Anyway, it is fine. Going on. I will take them some time, and it's fine. You can see here group policy management console. I just make a video how to implement group policy for the domain controller and how to enforce that to the client computers and I think you all watched that, that please subscribe my channel for additional videos and I will there is some error message let me check that there is no issue I think after reboot it will yeah there it goes. The rebooting process just started. And I think you will spread this link to your friends for subscribability of this videos. Please encourage me by clicking like buttons so that I can make more videos for you.
actually this is my first video and I will make this in series so that everyone can, everyone can access my video very easily if there is an error you can find what the error is I will tell you Now I will check two, three things and this video will end. After that I will post my next video as soon as possible and let me check. Yes, the rolls. Let me check. Yes, it is. There is no uh, problem with the symbols, the caching signal symbol here. Okay, you can see the roles are added. I will check this is properly added. My domain name. Yes, here it is. Frame captain dot org. Okay, so okay, it's fine. And now. Everything is okay and DNS is okay. Okay, there is no issue. And then I will check two things more. And that is the frame and ISS. IIS, sorry. You can see here. Yes, it is installed NetFrame 3.5.1 and another thing is web ISS it's also installed, there is no issue. Okay, it's also installed. We check one more thing. If you installed any antivirus, just block that for some time, otherwise it may show some type of errors. If there is no need of blocking firewall, just block your antivirus. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and press bell icon for latest IT related videos. I will post my next video.